Hello, hello, my beautiful Virgos. Brenda Tarot here with your general tarot and oracle card forecast for December the 11th to the 17th. Let's see what we've got for you. Well, your download messages, the first card that came out was a big resounding no. If there was a question you needed an answer to, this is an answer you're going to get. But I wanted to know why you got the no, and apparently it's meant to be. You're going to feel relieved. Okay, so there's going to be some relief brought in uh, if you've been wondering about a situation and you needed some clarity on it. It's not going to happen or it's not going to come in or something like that. And But it'll be a relief for you. Okay, in the long run, it may be a blessing in disguise. Coming in with your first uh, energy card here, you've got the sarcophagus, which is you know, better known as a death card. Um, I think that some of you will be seeing the end of a situation and you'll be able now to look towards a new beginning. Death is endings and rebirth. So this particular one says you need, you may have had to take a time out to heal through something. Uh, you may have been uh, taking, a, maybe you've been without a job, maybe your job's ended, a contract's ended, uh, or maybe it's just an opportunity that you completed. It could have been a relationship that ended. Whatever the case is, it differs for every Virgo out there. But know that this particular card is telling me that there will be a new beginning coming into you. Often with this card, you know, it never refers, the death card, the sarcophagus is not usually a death card. But it can be transition and sometimes it's change that can be a little bit painful. So the death card here is referring to something ending here. The death of a situation here coming into you. Now we have the Moonology card here and you've been given balance, spirituality and practicality. And this is the full moon in Pisces. So have you ever been so head in the clouds that you've lost touch with reality? If so, it's a sign that you need to pay attention and make a concerted effort to move towards your goals. The more practical steps you can take, the better. It's time to find an inner balance between your responsibilities and between your dreams. Because we all know that the Pisces energy is a dreamy type energy. It's time to meditate on your question. And the solutions to your issue may now come through very clearly. If you're in a tricky situation because you've been acting the martyr, this comes in as a message to let you know to drop the act for everyone's sake. Let it go, okay? Meditate every day and see what comes to you. The answers will come, okay? You're in a, this card also refers to being in a super romantic but not super realistic state. Trying to follow your intuition, it won't let you down. At worst, the card can mean the end of a dream, but the person you're inquiring about maybe is a soulmate if this card is something to do with that question. Avoid any substance abuse as well, they're saying. Pisces is the last sign of the zodiac, so the full moon in Pisces symbolically marks endings. When the moon in, is full in Pisces, or whenever we get this card, it's a time to dive deep into our emotions. Practicality is at odds and numinous Pisces, Pisces energies that have no borders. So feel your way now. Psychic ability is being heightened when the full moon is in Pisces and soulmates now connect. It's also a time to send out your dreams to the universe and release your fears. So that is the meaning of that balanced spirituality and practicality in the Moonology deck. Quite involved. It's interesting. And we know when they talk about this card, they're talking about the moon in Pisces. So you're feeling the energy of that. Now, coming in, my Virgos, you've got the Nine of Cups and you've got the Moon card. And the Moon, we know, means Pisces. So there you go. Uh, speaking of Pisces, but don't be afraid to do your research. There may be some secrets in the background that are going to be revealed if you're if you do the due diligence and you do your investigative work and you and you research something. Trust your instincts and also trust your intuition and your God-given talents that you carry with you. You'll get through this. The Moon comes out at the darkest times of our day, but it illuminates every and you will be able to see light down that tunnel. The Nine of Cups says wishes fulfilled. 
a dream's coming true. What have you been wanting, my beautiful Virgos? Know that you you have the ability now to manifest it and see it coming into fruition. This is a very fertile time now, this particular week. You're going to see something coming in and it will bring you relief. You've got the Empress and you've got the Two of Pentacles. So balance is in order right now this week. You might be juggling and trying to balance your home life with your work life. You could be juggling your bank account. Um, and you could have two decisions, choices, and options and opportunities that you're going to have to be subjected to making a decision about. Don't stress out, my beautiful Virgos. If you think about what's going to bring you longevity and the best benefits, that choice will come easily. The Empress says, guess what? You just want beautiful things. And she has that ability to go after what she wants, what she puts her hands to, she sees grow, and also she is able to create her own dreams. Don't be afraid to go out there, my beautiful, beautiful uh, Virgos and go after what it is your goals and your dreams the Empress she's learned well from her Emperor and she's leaned into his power anything you nurture right now and give your loving attention to is going to come out a okay you're going to be flourishing marriage children and issues involving motherhood are, are positively affected right now okay so whether you're trying to give birth to a child nurture life into your plants and pets or even a project you're working on or a business you're going to see your creative endeavors are going to bring success beautiful coming in next in the center position the strength card along with the strength card wow double message so this is telling me that you know you're stronger than actually you feel you really are but this is also the card of doing good negotiations uh, having good conversations with people where you're tapping into their energy you're a good listener and you're going to be able to uh, connect and communicate on a caring compassionate tolerant patient understanding way and don't forget forgiveness when we have the strength card know that if you're doing you're, you're trying to um, negotiate anything whether it's business or on a personal level you'll catch more bees with honey than you ever will with vinegar so be mindful of how you speak and what you say we can't take our words back okay double message here look what you've got you've got two double messages here uh, and the two of pentacles coming in again remember I talked about the emperor next to the emperor Empress here there he is and don't you think he looks like John Legend I do <laughs> I, I say that when I see this card okay being in control sitting in the seat of power being your own boss your entrepreneur your own own employer having your own business perhaps but you're doing things logically and you're being very organized I always look at the Emperor and think he looks cool calm and collected because of that so you know what you're doing things, you're, you're, you're creating a detailed plan for how you'll proceed and maintain that kind of authoritative control right now. So take the leadership role. Don't be afraid. This is your time to go out there and believe in your ability, okay? Um, you know, this is about making wise choices and, and this is about, you know, security. But some of you could be dealing with government agencies, law enforcement, and um, other fathers. You could be dealing with a father figure as well. You're looking up to two of pentacles. You're juggling something here. Don't be afraid. Balance is in order. Coming in with the nine of wands. Let's see what we have here. And the eight of pentacles. Nine of wands says you might be, um, you know, getting to a point where you want to throw your hands over your head and say, I'm going to give up. But this card comes in as a big, strong warning. Don't do that. Okay, you have created something very worthy of of keeping going. Okay, so this is a card that says don't roll over, don't give up, defend what you've created and keep moving forward and you're going to see success come in and your due diligence, your willpower, your determination here with the eight of pentacles is going to prove that. Uh, you could be taking an apprenticeship, you could be taking a new form of study, you might just be doing something at your place of employment to show the powers that be what you're made of. Okay, how good you are, what an asset you are to have in their company or uh, within their company and at, at your place of employment. Don't be afraid to continue doing that because as long as you do, you're going to see great success. Well, my beautiful, beautiful Virgos, this is your reading for this week. And I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful, prosperous, healthy, happy week. Know that I send you lots of love and many blessings. And I'll see you soon, my beautiful Virgos.